I knew you'd be here, and I knew I'd be here too, because we're going to talk about an uncapping fork. The uncapping fork is my preferred way to decap wax off from the comb when it's ready to be centrifuged. So let's find out about this chapter right now. It's better to get this over with than one sweeping motion because the more you let this sit here the more it's going to drip all over the place. I like to have these extra dishes around because you never know what's going to happen. Just doing a little at a time in high frequency is what I've learned works pretty well. A couple rows at a time, just flick the forks into the comb, pull up a little bit, back off a little bit, go back in where you can get the maximum amount of caps off from the comb. And then do an inspection and see wherever you miss some. If you've opened up the comb a little bit, there's a good chance that the honey will come out. But if, if you don't have any of the cap off, then it's not going to release any honey in the centrifuge. And wow, it helps when you do when you do all this work, you want to get as much honey as you can. I used to use the uh, uncapping knife, which adds heat, has a heat element, and the heating element gets the knife to be hot enough to melt the caps, but I found that just made a whole lot of mess and a whole lot of frustration. So. So I don't mind doing this. It's a little bit more labor intensive, but I also feel like I can just prick the very caps right off the top and still get a pretty good yield out of it. Whereas the knife, you can just sear off the top half of everything and, and then that leads to a lot of loss and honey running all over the place and wax all over the place. So don't mind this one bit. Gives me a good break from running the hand crank centrifuge. If you have one of those electric ones, that's pretty nice, but you know, they do take up a lot of space. And so if you're not producing a whole lot of honey, it doesn't make sense to have a whole lot of the gizmo gadgets if you are producing it does make sense and those things are really nice so you can time everything so that you can be uncapping these while things are centrifuging you can do everything in a really short amount of time all right guys the main thing that i learned is that i can use that screw as a balance point to put one side of the frame on and balance the frame between my hand holding it and that screw hitting it on one side. That was immensely helpful for the decapping process. Another thing that was immensely helpful is laying the frame sideways onto that nail and working across the frame horizontally instead of the frame being up and down and trying to prick into that frame from the top or from the bottom. It's a lot easier to go side to side on the frame. 
Another thing that I learned is that if I tried to use all the length of the decapping knife, all those little forks, if I tried to go in as deeply as I could, that wasn't as effective as just using the tips and just flicking a few of the caps, a few of the cells at a time. So those are my tips to you for decapping honey and I hope that helps. Be sure to subscribe and thumbs up, share and comment on this video. Anything that you say can help out other people. So I'll see you next time and have a great week. Mm -hmm.